This is Nicole King from Fullerton College Hornet News. I'm here in Fullerton at the home of local firefighter Scott Townley, who's dedicated his lawn to a memorial for those 9-11 victims and the service members who passed. We had a chance to come to a service this morning where we interviewed Scott more about his memorial. And you mentioned that you were a firefighter. How many years have you been serving and what is your station? I've been a firefighter for almost 30 years and I work in uh, Cowan Heights for the Orange County Fire Authority. Well, how many years have you been putting together this since, memorial? Since 2001, about six days after the first tower, uh, the towers fell. I did the small sign in the middle yard and that sign has remained there today. And then on the 10th anniversary, I told myself I want to do more. So that's when I went ahead and I did the crosses for the firefighters and the police officers. I built those. It took about a year to do all the crosses. So then I built the cross that you see behind me with all the civilians' names on it. The, cro the flags on the ground became 3,000 flags, and I personalized each one of them with their name or where they died on 9-11, whether it was the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, or the flights. And then the years after that, I went into doing honoring the post-9-11 victims, people that have died on the pile due to lung conditions, cancers, things like that. But for this year, I've got the uh, walls for Iraq and Afghanistan, all the kids that have died on the war on terrorism there. How, approximately how long did it take you to make all these crosses? Um, the crosses you see behind me, it took me one year. And I built every one of them hand by hand, one by one, with wood and nailed them, glued them together, painted them with a couple of coats of paint. Then I have a friend that has a vinyl letter machine, so I travel out to his house at Canyon Lake and sit on the computer for hours, type out the names and cut them out in the vinyl letters. You mentioned that you had some family members and that you personalized some of the flags that came from New York. Mm -hmm. That some family members came where they were able to come and see your service and your memorial? Yes, there's several family members that were in New York, that lived in New York, that now live on the West Coast, or people that are out here on vacation. If they find their loved one's flag, I give it to them. And we'll look for it, and then that's something they can take back or send back to New York so they have a memento or something just to remember their loved one by. And then I replace the flag when they leave. I go in the house, I make another one, and I put it right back out because it's important to me to have the most accurate memorial I can have. I don't want anybody missing from the yard. I want everybody here in the yard together. And I think one of the biggest questions, what encouraged you to put all this memorial together and, and what, what brought your heart to open up to all these family members? Uh, basically, so we never forget. Uh, the main reason is just, you know, I see people over the years are just kind of, they're not getting lackadaisical about it, they're just, it's in the back of their mind. Yeah, 2001, September 11th, that happened, and it, it, it happened. What I'm trying to do is bring it to the forefront so that every year, everybody remembers it, and the big thing is, is all the victims' families can come here and they know that there's somebody on the West Coast, 3,000 miles away, that remembers them also. You know, they're far removed from us, but they're not. They're in our hearts.